What's up my old cat travelers and welcome back to another Eden. So we just got an update today guys. Our second, our second global exclusive character guys ever. Um, she looks amazing guys. This is to celebrate three years with this amazing game guys. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, it's been three rough year, years, but this game was there to, uh, you know, to support us during those three um, hard years. So let's see, let's see what Eva has to, has to offer. Guys, um, if you guys did not have the chance, please, please, please um, go look up on my coverage of the third year anniversary, guys. It is amazing. We, uh, we are getting Eva. She looks like a dragon lady. She looks freaking amazing. Uh, simple, but uh, beautiful. Really love the horn. Really love the, the purple hair color, actually. So we are getting that. So we are getting her in January 28th, which means two days from now. Um, all right, let's start off with uh, our little our little flavor text. This smile is a smile not my own. The warmth of which they speak is but a kind heart cruelty. A lemon upon a pond's edge. Ivory scale hide a heart for loom pledge. Eva. All right, guys. So... Um, I've been I've been looking about uh, on the internet and uh, she's a water crystal character magic She uses a staff as a ring and she is a light character and her valor chant is um, Something that deploys a magic fate stance and physical resistance to all party members plus 30% and powers of all enemy minus 30% for one turn So yeah, look at that. She's pretty pretty neat guys. We're gonna go over her skill But first let's see what we got. So we got uh, the Eva I'm gonna roll for her, obviously, you guys. Um, she looks amazing. Uh, we are also, guys, um, a faithful encounter pay one time. And also, guys, if you have a thousand stone, um, keep them because Melissa is making a comeback, guys. And Melissa is kind of cosmos, is kind of like cosmos from uh, Dino Sega, and she's amazing robot. Or I have a thing for a little robot Android girls, so love it. All right, we're also getting our, uh, more Fateful Encounter. We're Fateful Encounter for th three, uh, the third anniversary, pay two times max. Same thing as before, which is pretty cool. We are also getting, after a long due, guys, the through met weapon discovery, guys. And of course, the first character who has it is our girl Suzette, um, <laughs> the studio's favorite character, Silver's favorite character, our first five star. Um, yeah, so what is a true weapon uh, discovery, guys? So it's a new eye difficulty battle with Added for characters who have mastered the manifestation weapon. By clearing their nearly at battle, the character skill will be enhanced even when they have not equipped their weapon from manifestation. Weapons acquired in manifestation will have their own stat boosted. Added a character and class listed below to the new event manifestation manifestation of true weapon Suzette Dragon. So, yeah, ma true manifest guys. It's a thing that Japan has. Um, yeah, it's it's adding a power creep but you know Suzette is an old character so I would assume a lot of you guys have her if not guys get her um she's the studio's favorite character obviously and she's adorable um and if you guys um without going to spoiler guys um if you guys did the uh, latest episode um I actually like her personality and how she interacts with other people so we are also getting guys something kind of cool that um it started in Japan hopefully we're, uh, we're gonna get that at some point in global which means a contest um, so we're getting a subquest called Dream in the, S in the Sky. We believe the story as a subquest that won the Another Eden Grand Prize in the Another Eden Cat Beyond Times and Space X Kayukuyu Scenario Writer Discovery Contest that has, that was held between November 9, 2020 and January 31, 2021. So hopefully we can do that in the, in the global version, guys. That would be really nice to write little stories. Um, I would like that. I would participate. Um, I've been participating in, uh, in most contests. So yeah, I'm excited. Alright, so, let me read the story a little bit. Aldo arrived in the Naru upland, he witnessed a mister's object falling from the wormhole in the sky. So guys, to get it, you need to have completed chapter 20 and the main storyline and the app must be updated. So, pretty, pretty simple. Um, we are getting also, guys, the Chrono Stone cell information. These are pretty, pretty the same. But this is important, guys. We are getting a bonus from Chrono Stone from 20 to 100 from January 18 to Fairy V 2nd, guys. These deals are going on, so please log in every day, even if you don't play. Just log in so you can get um, a 1,000 stone fairly easy, and you can get a new character. But this is also pretty cool, guys. This is the most important thing, especially for people that don't own a lot of characters. We are getting a Destiny token, 10 allies characters for 10 days. Pretty simple, guys. You log in every day. For 10 days, you get a character randomly. Um, sometimes you get salt. Sometimes you get sweet. Most of the time, you get salt. But the good thing is, at the end, guys, you get to have a 
of five star characters, which is pretty neat. So the corresponding encounter is accessible once a day during the campaign by using the Whisper of Time, max 10 time. Then each time you initiate the Whispers of Time encounter, you will receive a Whisper of Time drops. When you collect 10 drops, you will be able to initiate a Whisper of Time encounter, one time only a five star class guarantee. So hopefully, um, you guys are gonna get a new character. There's a good chance I'm gonna get a duplicate because I have over 140 characters. But for someone like Silver, who doesn't have as much character, that might be good for her. Um, which is pretty sweet. So the Whisper of Time distribution period is from the January 28th to February 28th, so about a month, 30 days, so, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so when you have the Whisper, open up the Gallery of Dreams, you initiate the Whisper of Time encounter. You can hold a maximum of one Whisper of Time a day, guys, so please, please, please do it every day for 10 days so you can get your character. A bunch of, a uh, bunch of issue fix, a bunch of issue fix, and also, guys, vote for your favorite character for three years, guys. Third years, vote for your favorite characters, guys. Vote with your heart, not because you want a character um, in the banner. Vote with your heart. I know I will, I will be voting for uh, AS Tsubame, probably um, AS Tsukiha, and probably Melissa. Uh, all characters on my own, but I think these are my top three favorite character. Um, yeah, so please vote, guys. Please vote um, for your favorite character. Um, on, I guess we're gonna get that on the website at some point, so look out on Twitter or so, or Facebook for social media. And if you vote, you get a 100 stone as a token of appreciation, which is pretty cool. Easy 100 stone. So the voting period, guys, is gonna be from January 28 to February 4. So it's pretty, pretty simple. But let's go back to the top, guys. Let's go back to the top and let's talk about our girl, Eva. All right, guys, so like I said before, she is a water crystal. Um, she has a lunatic um, skill right off the bat. It's called copy. So what it does is pretty much copy a, a, a move, a magic. So copy has a zero MP cost and no AF gain. The copy increase combo multiplier and AF normally. Copy count as another move from a, from a move based buff. Copy animation happen after the original skill is used and play out fully. Copy will move on to the next enemy if the original target dies on the first attack. So pretty neat. She seems to be a mage. Um, she, from what I from what, from her skill, real quick, she doesn't seem to be as powerful as Melissa as a wave clearer or as a AF bark stander, but I'm sure she holds other secrets. All right, her first move is called Radiant Star. It's a crystal type magic attack of all enemy S. Guaranteed critical hit. Ooh. Damage of skill increase with fewer enemy on the battlefield. Max five. If the target enemy is above fifty percent after an attack. Execute skill again. Ooh. So, so that, that's gonna be nice for bosses, I assume. That's going to be pretty sweet. All right, Magic Wave. Water type magic attack on all enemies. Small. Restore party members. 10 MP. If the target enemy is above 50%, HP after attack. Restore another 10 MP to self. Yay. Um, Right after that, guys. Um, All right, we got Sparkling Cleanse. Crystal type magic attack on a single enemy. Medium and a crystal in water type resistance. Minus 25%. Three turns. Max stack of four. If the target enemy is above 50%, HP... After the attack, execute the skill again. So it seems like uh, you guys can see a trend. So I really wonder if you if you cast the skill again because the HP is above fifty percent. If you also do that move, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a thing to look out for. Frozen Chime, Water and Crystal type resistance of all party members plus twenty five percent five turns and restore all party members HP by twenty five. When a lunatic, then double type resistance buff and a health amount. Apply mental focus on self for fifty percent. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, we got Shining Strike, which is a crystal type magic attack of a, of a single enemy. If the attacker uses this, increase damage by 20x. Ooh. If target enemy is above 50%, after the attack, power and intelligence is minus 30% for three turns. Ooh. She seems to be playing with a lot of debuff and I like it. Prismatic Star, crystal type attack of all enemy large, guaranteed critical strike. Damage and skills increase if the fewer enemy on the battlefield. If the target enemy is above 50 Percent of her HP, execute the skill again. Ooh, breaksicle. All right, water type magic attack on a single enemy, excel and in inflict break and magic critical rate of all party members by 100%. Ooh. When a lunatic, skill damage is plus 300%, multiplier by four. Use power and intelligence plus 20% for three turns, max four stacks. If the target enemy is above 50%, HP after the attack, execute skill again. Ooh, that's uh. Seems like she's gonna hit Avion bosses like the first part. Um, so, pretty neat. Dragonic Illusion. Crystal type magic attack of all enemy XL and guarantee critical strike. 
Damage of skill increased with fewer enemy on the battlefield, max 5. If the target enemy is above 50% after an attack, execute skill again. So yeah, she seems to be um she seems to be really good for um the first half of the battle, I'm not gonna lie. Which is nice, which is nice. Um yeah. I'm gonna roll for her just because um I've been slacking on the quest, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I need to catch up. Um all the new characters, but I'm gonna roll for her um probably three times, three three or four times because she's adorable. And uh yeah. So yeah, that's that's about it guys for this banner for this update. Uh once again guys, I want to wish happy birthday to another Eden for three years, guys. It's been three amazing years. Uh the game has grown a lot, which makes me super 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 happy, guys. Um and hopefully we're gonna get three more years, maybe five, hopefully ten. Um that'd be that'd be really really nice, guys. Um but that being said, guys, um, that's going to be it for today's update. And I'll see you guys next time. Please, guys, if you like, please hit the uh, subscribe button or the follow button, guys. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time for the next update. Peace out.